This is Marty Wilhite with Duffy Homes. I am at 11822 Benton Lane in Cassville. This is the Northview Estates. Looking at this home, it's built in 2003. 3,712 feet on uh, just about five and a half, 5.6, I think, acres. Goes just down to that little bottom area there is the property line to that side. And then along the right side, as we're looking at it, of, the, of that driveway, everything to the left is part of this parcel as well. Again, Northview Estates, a lot of really nice homes on looks like anywhere from two to five seven acres there's one neighbor right across the street everyone else is out and away that home's on the, the other side looks like it's probably sitting on three or four acres I want to give you a little bit of an idea of the outside the surroundings it's a nice neighborhood Two separate garages. The one on the right, the brick garage, actually has a third stall door, or whatever, on the other side. I'll see that in a minute. But this is a home. We'll come back to that. But on that third stall is actually being used as a horse stall. It's a dirt floor on it. And this is a better shot of the property. We'll head inside the this garage first. There's that other door. Two stalls here. This is, you can see the size of this one. That's a full size pickup. Got a heating unit there, electrical panel with the cover off. Shop area here. And then it looks like stairs up to a storage area there. I did not go up there. It's just kind of tight stairway, but just the attic space. Above the garage. So I can get down this without breaking my neck. There's a heater. Here is the horse stall. That's the third garage door from the outside, and that's a door that goes to the outside of the building. And there's the door for, it's kind of short for a horse, but and there's a chicken coop here, looks like. And then a ladder up for more attic space. Go down the outside, it'll make more sense. Sorry to jerk the camera around so much. Again, that's the third door. And then that's the short door that we were looking at from the inside. And then it looks like a narrow run for something 
here. And then that fence, the barbed wire fence there is the property line to this side. And I haven't found a way in to this garage, but there is a small room on the other side. Here, it's like an enclosed area. It's got a stone floor. This is all enclosed. Looks like there's power here. Yeah. And uh, maybe a well there. But, I believe the propane tank is leased. And there. Again, this is the property line at that fence. There's a little bit of landscaping back here. Gazebo and a little bridge. Let's take a look around the outside of the house now. There's a driveway and there's a, it's like a enclosed, right on, right on the other side of that door, as you'll see when we get it inside, is a, a kind of like a sunroom entryway almost, kind of a unique thing. But roof looks like it's in really good shape. little bit of siding back here the rest of the house is brick and another enclosed room we'll see from the inside screened in porch area here we'll see that from the inside and this is a walk out from the lower level that doorway uh, leads to a pretty good sized living area there and then there's the upper level deck Deck's in good shape. Handrails might need to be painted, but the wood looks to be, be pretty good. Exterior looks to be pretty clean. Nothing a good pressure wash couldn't fix. There's a a little bit of a crack there I just noticed from the lower level front face of the bricks inspection would uh, tell us what's going on there this is the front of the house obviously <laughs> <clears throat> and again the shingles Everything on the roof really looked pretty good. House is really clean. 20 years old. And get this side. And around to where we started. All right, I'm gonna go and uh, get some footage of the inside. <laughs> 